Hello friends, happy day, I'm Grace Nilsa. I use she, her pronouns, and today's practice is all about um, an exploration of freedom. So there's some yogic philosophy that looks at ourselves as layers, uh, koshas is what they're called, um, and it's also translated to sheets or illusions. Um, so we have our physical layer which is our earth element, our bones, our muscles, our tendons, our skin. And while this physical layer is pretty important, um, particularly in our asana practice, it's not everything. Uh, we also have our energetic layer, our breath. When we're breathing, we're pulling in these invisible tiny particles of oxygen. And there are a complex series of interactions and transactions. We are creating energy, ATP for ourselves. And there's also more to us than our breath. We also have this mind, our mind stuff. Our mind does wonderful and terrible things. It creates new things out of nothing, good and bad. <laughs> And we're also a little bit more than that. So we have this layer of ourselves that's able to observe and watch, uh, sometimes without judgment. And there's something more than that. Beyond all these layers is a layer of bliss, of connection. And maybe there's something beyond that. I don't know. So when we start to look at ourselves in these layers of ourselves, they can be a roadmap to creating more freedom. When I realize that I am more than the tightness in my hips or funkiness in my left wrist, when I realize I'm more than my asthmatic lungs and my inability to catch a breath, when I realize I'm more than my crazy thoughts, more than my non-crazy thoughts, um, it's gifted me the opportunity to be beyond these illusions and connect to something a little bigger. Or we can just move our body and take some big breaths because it feels really good and forget all the philosophy stuff. Your choice. Either way, we're going to start this one standing up. I know, standing up. Just for a moment, I promise we'll get back down. So decide where the top of your mat is and then stand here and just take a little moment to ground. It can look like a little shuffle step. It can look like some grounding, stalking. It can look like a little twist and shout of your hips or maybe some jumping up and down. A little run in place, a little running there. Whatever you want to do, connect to your feet and then stand up just a little taller. Then take your shoulders up into your ears and then roll them down your back, standing up even bigger here. Allow your hands to drop open by your side. You can either close your eyes or turn them down softly. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Do that again, breathing in. Let it go. One more breathing. Send it out. Then on your next inhale, sweep your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Look it up. And then exhale, sweep them right back down. Draw a little paint lines with your fingertips. Do that again. Inhale. There's an option to press into your toes, lift your heels, coming to your tip toes. And then exhale, lower your heels, paintbrush your fingers. And again, inhale, lift. Rise. Exhale. Good. One more. Inhale. We lift. Embrace the wobbles. Exhale. We lower. Good. And this time we're going to inhale, sweep our fingertips wide to the side, stretching up. And exhale, fold forward. Now it's an easy waterfall of green nuts. Halfway lift. And fold. Stretch up and reach up, but we'll just keep this going. Go half some eights. Fold forward. Lift halfway. Fold. Rise. Keep this going.
going a few more rounds, and if your breath takes you somewhere other than the shape, it's okay to follow. One more round, perhaps slowing it down, gifting yourselves a little more time to move between these shapes. Once you stand up, grab onto your left wrist, root down onto your toes and pull your left wrist over to your right. Breathe into your left side as you lean and stretch out of your left hip out just a little more. And you can choose to look down under your right armpit or up just past your left elbow. Stretch and breathe a little more into your left side. And come back to center. Get a little shimmy, wiggle, and shout. And we'll stretch up, reach up, grab onto our right wrist, root down onto our right toes, and pull it over to our left. Breathing long into our right side body, create a little more length and stretch. One more. Back to center. Wiggle it out. Go now hands to your hips, and set your right foot to the back of your mat, and turn your toes to the outer corners. Heels will drop in. Get a little softness in your knees, wiggle in your hips. And as you breathe in, we'll stretch up, look up. And breathe out, God, as go close the arms. Do that again, inhale, look up. Uh, exhale, bend it down. One more, we lift. And we lower. Then we'll stay here, hips low. Knees are soft. We'll show me your hands, hello. Flip your palms towards you. Crisscross one wrist over the other. Between your thumbs, a little butterfly will drop. And pull your hands to your heart. Get down, breathe in, lift your heart, and breathe out. Drop to your left, exhaling all the way down. Inhale to the bottom and drive your inhale to the top. Go do it again. Exhale to your left. Inhale to your right. Put one more. Good. And come up for a minute, stretch your legs. Switch the grip of your butterfly, reach up the thumbs. Hands to heart and drop one down. Taking this to the other side, inhale lift your heart, exhale, drop to your right. Exhale all the way down, inhale and rise up to your left. Doing that again, exhale right. Inhale, rise up one more. Sound effects, welcome. Release your hands. You will toe your feet a little closer to touch. And step back to the top of your mat. Breathe in, reach up, lift up. Breathe out, fold forward. Lift halfway. And then we'll step on back to a down dog. If you want another way to get there, you can take that on. You can spread your thumb and pinky wide apart. Bend and soften to your knees as you press your belly a little closer to your thighs. You now keep knees bent. Just take your right foot and lift it. And drop it right down, bending a little more. But then take the left foot and lift it. And then drop it down and bend. And just take your dog on a walk this way, lifting and lowering. When you lift your hip, if you want to take a little like cock to the side or fire hydrant, you can. Just take your dog on a little walk. It's not meant to look or be anything other than what it is. Good, now bend your knees a lot here, down dog. Touch your belly to your thighs, and then just twist your hips from side to side. Coming to the balls of your feet, dropping from one side into the next. <laughs> and then come on down to the top. Child's nose. You can always bring your knees wider apart or keep your shins parallel. But melt on down down to your forehead to the floor. And you can shimmy your hips and shoulders, melting your heart and forehead down to the ground. Breathe. One 
forward tabletop, downward facing dog. Walk your hands to your feet, drive through your heels, fold forward at the back of your mat. Interlace your fingers within one another, place your hand on the back of your head. If I do this right, my glass is far right off my face, check. I'm keeping a little softness in your knees, heaviness behind your head, sway your torso forward, back, side to side. And then you can walk your feet a little wider to give you a little more buoyancy in your spine. Knees. You shake your head, yes and no. Then release your hands back down to the ground and crawl them forward. High plank with your feet maybe a little wider here. Take a moment and pause, spread your tongue and pinky wide, strengthen the crown of the heel. And notice your physical layer. Where you're touching the ground with your fingers, toes, palms, feet. Strengthen your belly. And of course, you can drop your feet down for more stability. Notice where you feel strong, where you're growing, where you're trembling. And then switch to your breath, still staying in the shape, acknowledging all the physicality of the shape, but choosing to notice your energetic self. Breathing big. And if you can't breathe big, find a way to modify the physicalness of the shape so you can. And then notice how holding this high plank for a few breaths maybe stirs up some mental chatter. Observe the fluctuations of your mind, knowing you are more than your thoughts. One more breath to notice all the things happening at the same time, using our power of observation. And when we're on down to the ground, uh, letting one ear rest. You can rock your hips, shoulders, and then switch ears. So your opposite ear rest down. Place your hands on your shoulders, tuck your toe over, reach back, child pose. And then come on up to tabletop. Crisscross your calf muscles and then have a seat. You're welcome to sit on your blocks or blankets or anything else that you have. Just establish a connection to you on the floor. You can use your hands to feel the ground beneath you. You can leave your hands down to the floor or bring them to your knees and circle your entire body. Use this as a grounding exercise to notice where you're touching the floor. Sound effects help a little. And then take your circles in the opposite direction, moving around whichever way you didn't go. And then settling yourself into center and just take notice. Does it still feel like you're spinning and swirling? How does this affect your ability to breathe? How is this affecting the fluctuations of your mind? Extend both feet forward. Keep your toes a little wiggle. Then hug your left knee into your chest and you plant your foot flat on the floor. Hug your knee in a little closer as you lift your heart. Breathe. Lift your left leg and have your left foot with your right hand. Left hand finds left knee. Just find a little gentle rocking side to side. Noticing how the hip and knee is pulling. And find stillness, hugging your left leg a little closer to your heart. You can keep your hands here, or you may have the space to hook your right elbow out around your left foot. Either way, flex through your left foot, set up taller, and breathe. Three breaths. One more. And then 
plant your left foot either outside your right leg or maybe inside. Press down to your sitting bone, stretch up through your right side, and then twist to your left. And you can even hook your elbow or wrap your elbow. Either way, sit up tall, turn from center, and you may have the space to look over your left shoulder. Breathe. Untwist. Slide your right foot or left foot over your left or right thigh, figure four. And you can stay here. And the opposite grip blocks under your left knee or thigh, under your left foot. You can start to fold this forward, bringing hand, knee, and foot, maybe forearms. I have a really long torso. So I am able to reach my foot really easily. Short little arms, long belly. And you may have the opposite. So reaching your foot may not be accessible due to your bone structure. Either way, find a little way to fold here. Soften your breath. And we'll slowly sit up. And give yourself a high five in the center of your chest. Lift your heart a little higher, lean back, and lift your feet, go pose. Wiggle your toes, sit up taller, and then drop your feet right back down. Breathe in, breathe out. And we'll switch sides, have your right knee in, maintaining your foot flat on the floor, right knee back and point straight up. And hug in, sitting up taller, breathe. So grab your right foot with your left hand, right hand slides to the right knee. Gently rock your hip side to side, noticing how this right hip has a different story than your left. And then sitting up tall, looking right knee in or right shin in towards your chest, wrapping up, creating your right foot, three breaths, breathe. Prepare to twist. Place your right foot either outside or inside your extended left leg. Breathe in and stretch your left arm high to the sky. Breathe out, twist to your right, looking or wrapping your right elbow. Pressing down through your sitting bones, lengthen into your spine, just off to look over your right shoulder. Breathe in. On a twist. Figure four, Johnny Shoshasana, slide your right foot. And of course, if this doesn't feel good, you can find regular Johnny Shoshasana, letting your foot find the inside of your thigh. And taking time to settle in here, noticing how this side comes and pulls a little differently, which means we can hold this shape differently, supporting our second side just as we need to. And breathe. Sit up, hands to heart. Lean back, lift your feet, flex your toes, wiggle your toes. <laughs> and crisscross your ankles, sitting up tall. Take this into a fold forward. You can bring the floor closer to you. And then notice when your sitting bones are creeping up to help and glue them down and let the stretch come into your low back. This may bring with it some discomfort. Add in a layer of breath to create some more space around the tension as you feel. Sit all the way up. Bring yourself onto your back. Rolling down the knees and the feet. Draw little circles in one direction. Other, so I'm your little back into the floor. Okay, your feet flat, hands flat, drum floor, and your fingertips and toe tips. Put the stretch your right foot up towards the sky, finding figure four on your right side. You can stay here, press your right knee 
knee away, or maybe you lift your left leg, throwing your hands inside or outside your left foot. Activate both feet, keeping some pressure, tension, support to your muscles. Not all tension is bad. Breathe, listening in to the sound of your breath. If your thoughts are really loud here, you may need to breathe even louder to hear it. Listen carefully, keep your right foot where it is. Place your left foot flat to the ground and you extend your arms out wide to the side. We'll take some dynamic twists, so inhale, stay here. Extra drop your knees to your right as you look left. Inhale, center. And exhale, twist in the opposite direction, pull up to the right. Do that again, inhale, center. Twist right. Center. Twist left. One more, center. And right, and let's pause here for a moment, dropping our knees more to the right. We can pick up and slide our left foot more to the left. Weighing down our right knee as we look to our left. Hand can come to belly, your left rib. And do your little check in, noticing your physical layer, energetic breath layer, mind stuff. Freedom comes from remembering that we are these and we're also not. These layers of ourselves are merely illusions or coverings to our truest soul's essence of bliss. And we must notice and acknowledge these layers as we move through them. Untwist. Twist in the opposite direction, dropping your right foot down. Use your left hand here to anchor your right foot, right knee. Open up to your right, looking right, really good. On twist. Take up space like a giant starfish, stretching arms and feet in the opposite direction, then you roll your wrists and ankles. And then take this to the other side, put your forward left side, crossing your left ankle, we can keep your right foot down, or thread your hands inside or outside your right knee. Actively flex both your feet, keep your muscles working, keeping the stress out of your joints. It's a good thing. And then we breathe. Prepare to twist, keep your left foot where it is, place your right foot flat. Stretch your arms out wide to the side, big breath in, big breath out, left your knees left, and look right. Center. And twist in the opposite direction, feet right, look left. Keep this going, center. And twist. Center. One more. Let's have a pause with both knees drop to our left. And you can pick up your right foot and slide it more to the right, bringing your left knee heavy, lengthening through your front body and opening up to your right. And on twist. And retwist in the opposite direction. This time, right hand can assist your left foot in grabbing. Open up and look to your left, breathing big into your left rib. On twist. Take up space, giant starfish. 
directions. And then we'll take either a happy baby, grabbing the outer knees, ankles, or feet. Pulling the knees in towards the armpits, flexing the feet towards the sky. And rock side to side. So maybe it feels good to just throw your hands and feet in the air waving around like you just don't care, everybody floppy feet and hands. Good. And then take everything into a big full body stretch, arms and legs in the opposite direction. And then curl everything into a tight little ball on the knees and towards chest. Rub your forearms around the shin, pull your nose in towards your knees. Squeeze your toes in towards your feet. Squeeze your mouth, squeeze your eyes, squeeze your belly, squeeze your feet, squeeze your teeth, squeeze your face, hug everything in, squeeze your hands, this really tight ball, squeezing in for 10, 9, 8, 7, squeeze tighter, 6, 5, 4, 3, tighter, still, 2, 1, uh, peace out. Just make up space while I reach you on your mat. Find any supports that you need. Allowing yourself just a few moments of intentional, on-purpose rest. This isn't a rest or a break that you needed to earn. This rest has been yours to take all along. Settle yourself into your shape of final rest. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Shavasana. Breathe out. Do that again. Breathe in. And just kind of stick out your tongue where we eat a little more. As you're breathing, it starts to become a little bigger. Invite like movements to your fingertips and your hips. Ah, wrists and ankles, arms and legs, taking a full body stretch. Coming up to the seat in whatever way makes sense. And find a place that you can be in comfortably for a minute or two, if that means elevating your hips on a block or supporting your spine against the wall. Take that on. You can place your hands down to your thighs, maybe turning the palms up to get a sense of you in this moment. Sit up a little taller, stack the crown of your head over your sitting bones, closing your eyes or turning them down softly to your lap or toes. Take a big breath in and big breath out and just sit for a moment in stillness. Perhaps this 
contemplation of freedom for yourself is still percolating within your thoughts. You can let this marinate as we sit and breathe for a few moments. Contemplating our personal freedom means liberation for ourselves, body, breath, mind, life. Finances. You can draw your palms to heart center. We'll finish this time with a little chant. You can hum along, sing along if you know it, chant along, or just listen. Breathe in. Breathe out. Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Thank you, friends. Happy day. See you soon.